Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, I'm so happy that you've joined the family. We're gonna be making a highly requested recipe. If you've ever been to Morocco, you are probably familiar with their famous Moroccan mint tea. So today we're gonna learn how to make it at home so that when you're missing Morocco, you can just make some tea. When you go to Starbucks or Coffee Bean or Pete's or any local coffee shop and they have Moroccan mint tea on the menu and they give you that cup of hot water to put the tea bag in it, that's not real Moroccan mint tea. So you need to learn how to make it at home so that you can have the real, true Maghrebi experience. Experience. There's nothing like ending a night on a great cup of tea So if you ever have guests over this is the perfect recipe to make to entertain them and to really wow them If you're excited to learn how to make a day or Moroccan mint tea Make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know what kind of content you want to see from me And of course don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss when I upload a new video And on that note, let's start brewing our tea The first ingredient you will need is gunpowder tea. It's a type of green tea with a higher caffeine content and it has a little bit of a smoky taste. And if you're wondering, the name comes from the fact that it resembles gunpowder pellet. The second ingredient you will need is some fresh mint, about one to two bunches. And of course, the third ingredient is some sugar. First step is to grab your teapot and while your water boils, we're gonna add our gunpowder. This teapot fits about four cups of water, so we're gonna add three tablespoons of gunpowder. Now we have our water that came to boil and we're going to add just enough to cover the tea leaves. Make sure to let it just sit for one minute, don't shake or stir it. The one minute has passed so we're going to pour it out into a cup. As you can see, it has a beautiful, deep, rich, golden color, and this is what we call our spirit. It has a very strong but also bitter taste, so you can add as much back into your tea as you like. So once you open your teapot, you're going to notice that the tea leaves are no longer rolled up like a pellet. They have now opened up. So what we're going to do is add some more hot water, and this time we're going to stir it around so that we can wash our leaves. So once again, just add enough water to cover the tea leaves. Now instead of letting it sit, we're going to stir it around just like this. Just do it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now we're going to pour out the water that we just used to clean our tea leaves. The one on the left is our spirit and as you can tell it has a beautiful dark caramel color and the one on our right is our dirty murky water that we used to clean the tea leaves. So the left is what we're going to keep, that's our spirit, and the right we're just going to throw it out. Now that our tea leaves are clean, we can move on to one of the last steps. We're going to take our hot water and fill our teapot almost to the top, but we're going to leave some room for our mint when we add it at the end. After we add our water, we're going to add some sugar. It's going to seem like a lot of sugar is being added, but it counteracts the bitterness, so it's not going to taste too sweet, but of course you can add it to your liking. I'm going to add about 4-5 to five tablespoons. After you add your sugar, make sure to give it a good stir. Now we're going to take it to the stove and bring it to a boil. Our tea has come to a boil, so now, since I like my tea really strong, I'm going to add back the spirit. After we added our spirit, we're going to add our fresh mint. And it's going to look like a lot, but after all, it is mint tea, so you're going to add about one whole bunch. And now we just let it sit for a few minutes. Our tea is done, so now it's time to pour. This step is optional, but we're going to add some fresh mint to the bottom of each glass. And that's how you make etai or Moroccan mint tea. Alright, so that's the tea. 
Get it? That's the tea. Now you see just how easy it is to make and it's gonna become a staple in your house. If there's any other Moroccan dishes that you wanna see in any upcoming videos, make sure to leave a comment down below so that I can recreate them. And if you wanna see more recipes from me, I upload daily over on my TikTok, at Meribian, as well as on my Instagram, at Meribian. If you try this out, let me know how you like it down below in the comments or send me a DM over on my Instagram. I love hearing about your recreations and how you are enjoying all the recipes. So on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll leave you off with a chef's kiss.